The gauge of a firearm is a unit of measurement used to express the diameter of the barrel. Gauge is determined from the weight of a solid sphere of lead that will fit the bore of the firearm, and is expressed as the multiplicative inverse of the sphere's weight as a fraction of a pound. Thus there are 12 12 gauge balls per pound. The term is related to the measurement of cannon, which were also measured by the weight of their iron round shot. An 8 pounder would fire an 8 lb spherical cast iron ball and had a bore diameter of about 91 ohm. Gauge is commonly used today in reference to shotguns, though historically it was also used in large double rifles, which were made in sizes up to two bore during their heyday in the 1880s being originally loaded with black powder cartridges. These very large rifles, sometimes called elephant guns, were intended for use in India and Africa for hunting dangerous game. Gauge is abbreviated GA. GA, or G. The space between the number and the abbreviation is often left out, as in 12 GA. Calculating gauge, an N gauge diameter means that a ball of lead with that diameter has a mass equal to 1 slash N part of the mass of the international avoirdupois pound. Therefore an N gauge shotgun or N ball rifle has a bore diameter of approximately. Another source for a gauge size formula can be found in shotgun shell. It should be noted that the results of the calculations given above need not be carried out to further than one decimal place, as shotgun and rifle gauges are stated in integers. Furthermore, the density of the lead that was once used as the standard varied, since bullets and slugs are not made of chemically pure lead, but are instead made of lead alloyed with a variety of materials. Gauge is in use. Since shotguns were not originally intended to fire solid projectiles, but rather a compressible mass of shot, the actual diameter of the bore can vary. The fact that most shotgun bores are not cylindrical also causes deviations from the ideal bore diameter. The chamber of the gun is larger, to accommodate the thickness of the shot shell walls, and a forcing cone in front of the chamber reduces the diameter down to the bore diameter. The forcing cone can be as short as a fraction of an inch, or as long as four inches on some guns. At the muzzle end of the barrel, the choke can constrict the bore even further, so measuring the bore diameter of a shotgun is not a simple process, as it must be done away from either end. Shotgun bores are commonly overboard, or backboard, meaning that most of the bore is slightly larger than the value given by the formula. This is claimed to reduce felt recoil and improve patterning. The recoil reduction is due to the larger bore producing a slower acceleration of the shot, and the patterning improvements are due to the larger muzzle diameter for the same choke constriction, which results in less shot deformation. A 12 gauge shotgun, nominally 18.5 ohm, can range from a tight 18.3 ohm to an extreme overbore of 20.3 ohm. Some also claim an increased velocity with the overboard barrels, up to 15 AMS, which is due to the larger swept volume of the overboard barrel. Once only found in expensive custom shotguns, overboard barrels are now becoming common in mass marketed guns. Aftermarket backboring is also commonly done to reduce the weight of the barrel and move the center of mass backwards for a better balance. Factory overboard barrels generally are made with a larger outside diameter, and will not have this reduction in weight to euro though the factory barrels will be tougher, since they have a normal barrel wall thickness. Firing slugs from overboard barrels can result in very inconsistent accuracy, as the slug may be incapable of obturating to fill the oversized bore. Sizes in use The most common size is 12 gauge with up to 50% of the overall shotgun market in the United States. The 20-gauge shotgun is favored by shooters uncomfortable with the weight and recoil of a 12-gauge gun, and is popular for upland game hunting. The next most popular sizes are 28-gauge and .410 caliber. The 10 and 16 gauges, while less common, are still readily available. Shotguns larger than 10-gauge are now rarely manufactured. 8 gauge is prohibited for duck hunting, and is rare in the United States. However, it is still used in many parts of the world for bird hunting. Its shells are usually black powder paper cartridges as opposed to the plastic wax cartridge and smokeless powder of today. 4 gauge is even rarer, and is mainly used for punt guns in Britain. The 11, 15, 18, 2, and 3 gauge shells are rarest of all. 
owners of these types of rare shotguns will usually have their ammunition custom loaded by a highly paid specialist in rare and custom bores. The 14 gauge has not been loaded in the United States since the early 1900s, although the February 9th 16 inch hull is made in France. The very small 24 and 32 gauges are still produced and used in some European countries in Brazil. Punt guns and special purpose guns, such as the Russian 23 on KS-23, are rarely encountered. Also seen in limited numbers are smooth bore firearms in calibers smaller than .410, such as .22 long rifle, .22 WMR, and 9 on rimfire, designed for short-range pest control. To further complicate matters, special shot cartridges are available for typical handgun chambering such as 9mm Parabellum, .45 ACP, .38 Special Slash .357 Magnum, .44 Special Slash .44 Magnum, and .45 Colt. These rounds are either crimped in or in a plastic casing replacing the bullet. These are not generally considered shot shells by shotgun users, and the patterning performance is questionable since they are fired through rifled barrels. Thompson Center makes special pistol barrels in .38 slash .357, .44 and .45 Colt that have straight rifle chokes in them to reduce the spin of the shot column and produce better patterns, but they're still suitable only for pest control at very short ranges. Gauge and shot type the 10 gauge was saved from obsolescence when steel and other non toxic shot became required for waterfowl hunting, since the larger shell could hold the much larger sizes of low density steel shot needed to reach the ranges needed for waterfowl hunting. The move to steel shot reduced the use of 16 and 20 gauges for waterfowl hunting, and smaller 2.75 inches 12 gauge shells as well. However, the advent of the 3.5er and 12 gauge shell, with its higher SAAMI pressure rating compared to standard 12 gauge guns, begin to approach the performance of the 10 gauge loads. Newer non toxic shots, such as bismuth and tungsten nickel iron alloys, and even tungsten polymer blends, regain much or all of the performance loss, but are much more expensive than steel or lead shot. However, laboratory research indicates that tungsten alloys can actually be quite toxic internally. Sizes found in the UK, 4 ball, 8 ball 3 or 1 quarter or 10 euros ball 2 AA euro, 10 ball 2 AA euro, 10 ball 3 or 1 half or 12 euros ball 2 a euro, 12 ball 2 or 1 half a euro, 12 ball 2 or 3 quarters a euro, 12 ball 3 a euro, 12 ball 3 or 1 half or 14 euros ball 2 or 1 half or 16 euros ball 2 or 1 half a euro. 16 bore 2 or 3 quarters or 20 euros bore 2 or 1 half a euro, 20 bore 2 or 3 quarters a euro, 20 bore 3 or 24 euros bore 2 or 1 half or 28 euros bore 2 or 1 half a euro, 28 bore 2 or 3 quarters or 32 euros bore 2 or 1 half a point four one zero euros bore 2 a euro, point four one zero bore 2 or 1 half a euro. 0.410 bore 3 a 0.360 euros bore 1 a 3 quarters a 9 euros and rimfire, 1.439, 9 mm long rimfire, 7 mm rimfire, 6 mm short rimfire, 6 mm rimfire, conversion guide. A table showing the various gauge sizes with weights. The bores marked are found in punt guns and rare weapons only. The .410 bore and 23mm caliber are exceptions. They are actual bore sizes, not gauges. If the 410 and 23mm were measured traditionally, they would be 67.62 gauge and 6.278 gauge, respectively. Note: Use of this table for estimating bullet masses for historical large bore rifles is limited, as this table assumes the use of round ball, rather than conical bullets. For example, a typical four ball rifle from circa 1880 used a 2000 grain bullet, or sometimes slightly heavier, rather than using a four ounce round lead ball. In contrast, a four ball express rifle often used a 1500 grain bullet wrapped in paper to keep lead build up to a minimum in the barrel. In either case, assuming a four ounce mass for a four ball rifle bullet from this table would be inaccurate, although indicative. References